This demo will showcase our Salesforce to Database user broadcast template. Broadcast is the act of moving data from a single source system to many destination systems in an ongoing, near real-time or real-time basis. Essentially, it is one-way synchronization from one to many. This type of integration is useful when synchronizing data from one system to another in real-time, creating a sales order in one system when an opportunity is marked as one in another, and many more. In this video, I will show you an example of an organization that utilizes this template to broadcast its users from a Salesforce instance to a database in real time. Right now, let's see how it works inside of two different systems. Here inside of our Salesforce, we can see that we have a user named Alex. Let's go ahead and change the name Alex to Alexa. Then, when we go to our database and refresh the table, we can see that a name for that user was updated accordingly. Now, let's create a new user inside of our Salesforce instance and see how it will be reflected in our database. We will fill a first and a last name, assign an email address, and click Save. Then, when we go back to our database, we will see that the new user is there as well. Now, let's move from the user experience to AnyPoint Studio, our graphical design environment for the AnyPoint platform, and see what is powering this integration. Here we see our template, which leverages best practices for integration with Salesforce and makes this integration possible in minutes. This template has already been downloaded from our library where all of our templates can be found. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see a Salesforce connector that retrieves users from a Salesforce instance. Then, when we go to the business logic file, we can see that the template uses a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. Here we will find a database connector that queries users from our database, matching them with each record retrieved from Salesforce by email. Next, we use Data Mapper to transform the user data to match with the database data structure. And then, we update existing users that were found in our database, or create new ones for those that were not. The last step that we do, we log a message report that the migration process has been completed. Now that we know what stands behind this integration, Everything we have to do to make it work is to list our Salesforce and database credentials in the properties file and run the application. Today we've shown you our Salesforce to database user broadcast template and broadcasted users from one system to another. To find out more about the template, follow the view documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.